What the governments of Canada and the media showed me this past summer is what they truly think of First Nations people, how little they know. A few hundred years ago, we were less than human. It was sometimes great sport for newly arrived European men to hunt and shoot Indians. I asked myself, how much has changed? How much has misunderstanding been replaced with respect? In July of last year, I got my answer. This was not an isolated incident. Events like this just don't take place overnight. What you saw last summer was the outcome of appalling circumstances. should be proud because the indigenous inhabitants of the Americas assisted Africans in their struggle against the slaveholders. Yes. Maroon communities that were established, maroon communities of fugitive slaves were in large part protected by native people. Cherokee people showed African people the way to get beyond the swamp so that they could find a place that was safe and secure so that the slaveholders couldn't find it. Oh, 
connection. We have to recognize that I know as an African-American woman, it is my responsibility to stand together with my native sisters and brothers because they made it possible for me to be here today.
up your mind and take a look and see. It's got that feeling that you just can't be a such a special characteristic. So let's give a listen. A minute! that all these other sources to which we've turned have failed, we stop turning to them and turn to ourselves. We need a self-help program, a do-it-yourself do philosophy, a do-it-right-now philosophy. Uh, it's already too late philosophy. This is what you and I need to get with.
people who still stubbornly seek freedom, there can be no more urgent task in my view than to come to understand the mechanisms and the practices of indoctrination. These are very easy to perceive in totalitarian societies, maybe hard to resist, but easy to perceive. They're much less easy to perceive and correspondingly much less harder to resist in democratic societies uh, in the device under the, that use the system of manufacture of consent, or as it might better be called, brainwashing under freedom the system to which we are subjected and which we all too often serve as willing or unwitting instruments. 